In this video, we'll see how to make use of a nested if function. In this Excel spreadsheet here, we have some information on some American colleges and universities and the state they belong to, the total cost of attending this college per year, and the student to faculty ratio. Now, that is the total number of students divided by the total number of faculty and the overall rating of this college, which we will compute using the nested if function. Now, we want to compare the total cost of attendance to this cutoff cost of $10,000. If the cutoff cost, if, if the total cost is less than this cutoff cost, and if the student to faculty ratio is less than this cutoff ratio of 10, then we wish to assign a rating of one. If either of these cutoffs is not satisfied, we wish to assign a rating of two. So I'm going to show how to create this using a nested if function. To get started, press the insert function button and you can choose logical um, functions. And within that you have the if function, choose that, okay. And now you have the logical test. The logical test is that you want the um, total cost to be less than the cutoff cost. And if true, then you want to do another if test, which is, uh, you know, what we're going to do now is just to click on this if here and insert a second if. And if you do that, you can see that the first if is here. And within that first if, there is a second if function here, which is your nested if. And this dialog box here pertains to this second nested if function. The logical test for the nested if is that the cell D5 should be less than the cell D1. So the logical test is D5 less than D1. If the value is true, then you want to give this particular record a rating of one. If not, you want to give this record a rating of two. Click OK. Now, unfortunately, this whole thing exits because, um, you know, we just entered the second nested if function completely, but we did not complete the first nested if function. Observe that the first nested if function has only the condition and the first value, but not the second value. So to complete this, press the press anywhere here and press the FX insert function button. And this time the value if false should contain the number two and click OK. And now you will see that if this value is less than 10,000 and if this value is less than 10, then you will see a rating of one. If not, you will see a rating of two. Um, I would like to copy this formula all the way down to the other cells, but I don't want to type it in. So I would like to drag this fill handle and copy this down. But if I do that, you can see that there is one unwanted behavior, which is that now C1 becomes observe this here, C1 becomes C2 and D1 becomes D2. C1 and D1 should not become C2 and D2 when you move from here to here. To prevent that from happening, I'm just going to put a dollar sign before the one and a dollar sign before the one here as well to make sure that one doesn't change to two as we copy this down. Okay, and now when I copy this down, now C1, observe C1 remains C1 and D1 remains D1. And now you can actually just double click on this fill handle here and your formula will be copied all the way down to the bottom. And this is how you would make use of a nested if function. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Please check out more videos on codable.com.